apparently. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're back up. So I've changed it down to 720p. So if there's any problems, that'll probably be why. Oh, yeah, that's problems. Um, what is going on? Um. Oh God. Um. Don't think I have anyone. Oh, there you go. Yep. Um. Uh, okay. I'm not here myself. Oh no. Oh, is it back? Yes. Okay. It hasn't glitched out again. I'm gonna try carry on if it glitches out again and that gonna be good. Okay. So this just simple string builder sort of thing, just to get the reasons. So string reason, make sure it's an empty string, because otherwise this won't work. Then do your for loop, so start at start with zero argument, the yeah, first argument basically. Make sure i is less than args length and keep counting through i reason plus equals args i. That'll keep adding every argument to the string. So the reason is reason and then the issuer is send it up get name. And obviously this that should be straightforward. That 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 and then send it up get name. Gonna fall. We're gonna put brackets around this just to make it look cool. There we go. That's done. Um, do you need to get a link for the UID fetching things? Hopefully they oh oh this could work. No. Uh, this could be it. Probably not though. Oh god, we need to search so JSON. Okay. Nope. Okay. I'll have to upload to paste bin. I don't know where I found the code for this, but still. Actually I can't because it's too big. I'll upload it to my GitHub for you guys then. Description, don't need one in public. Don't do that and create repository. Okay. I did have the thing all along. I think I've already got one. Oh god, I'm not allowed to show you guys that, but still. Users, pull up, and then. Yeah, get. 
fish. Here we go. Take that, show it now. Just to give them the credit. Okay, 13 changes. Correct master, publish. And sync. Changes, none, history, go. There we go. Comma code source JSON, and it's all there. Let me just put this in the description for you guys. JSON API. I'll just give you that. Okay, looks. So far, so good. Um. Okay, looks. Da, da, da. Make sure. It, oh god. Make sure that everything is good. In four, so now we're just gonna wanna export everything out. Um, folks, I guess this is the last thing I worked on. Um. Environment. Enforcer. Copy to the plugins. Okie dokie then. So off straff light on here. Good, good. Okie doke slash kick. That didn't throw an error, which is good. Oh god, that one good. Kick a straff light, it doesn't work. Kick a straff light test. Done. Oh god. Okay. We don't want to start with the first argument, we want to start with the second one. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, yeah, just FYI that we changed a zero here to a one, and then that will work. Oh, Jesus Christ, hello. Right, let's direct connect again. Kick me again. Reason test issue is a light. Boosh. That's perfect. You've been kicked from the server. Reason test issue is a light. Blah blah blah. That's perfectly fine. So, kicking works. Now let's just work on the ban. So, obviously, we're going to want to make them specify a reason again. Use this fresh level. Player reason return true. Okay, then we're gonna want to get our player and then UUID try catch exception e e dot print stack trace try your ID because your ID fetcher to get your ID from arg zero. Then target equals bucket dot get player ID. And then if the target is not online, actually that's good. If the target is if the target is online, but well, what well, did I just press? Okay. Um. I don't know if we've actually got anyone watching. I'm disappointed, but still. So, alright, guys. Um, we're gonna want to get the reason. Important types one this time. Gotta like remember that. We don't want it put in a freaking. Yeah, we don't want to put in the their name and the reason, you know. So now, if target dot is online, on 
line then kick the target so string kick message equals and then you have kicked from the server um, and seven ish no reason and seven issuer send it up get name and then target dot kick player for translating well, translate the color codes and then there we go and then get config dot get string actually dot set um band dot oh yeah band dot plus band dot target dot get unique id dot reason to the reason and set the issuer to sender dot get name that should work. Message manager dot send message sender and a U band U band target dot get name for Go, you banned Sunso for that exclamation mark at the end of it. Just gonna put this up here as well. You kicked Sunso for some one of the day specified the reason does, and then return true. So now we're gonna want to save the config, reload the config here. Okie dokie then. We're not, there's no default config for this, so copy to plugin to replace it. Reload it slash ban, ban, ban. Strophilite for test. Kicks me. You've been banned on my server. I'm just gonna check if it did create one. Oh, it did. That's not bad. I feel like playing music, but then I'm gonna get a copyright. Ban him again. I've still been kicked. Reload. Ban Astrophilite. Test doesn't work because I am no target is online oh if target does not equal null and the target is online because the target might be null to the server Banish Gruffalo again. Still doesn't want to work. Um, I guess we don't need to have that. We can just constantly use bucket.getplayerid. We're going to have to use that constantly, sadly. Boosh. 
copy to plugins push still line 70, line 74 don't know why we're doing now, you might as well just do ID I might have to actually bring back the name fetcher line 77 yeah I'm going to have to bring back the name fetcher aren't I Damn it. Go away. Snip it. Okay. Source me a strophalite enforcer bish name factor do this and this and okay. string name equals name equals name factor dot get name from URD ID there we go. Okay, hopefully that gets rid of all of the errors. Oh god, I just did that, didn't I? Probably in here, yeah, it was. There we go. Reload, go up to. You banned Stofflight for test. Honestly, it won't exactly work because I haven't got it. Banned Stofflight test. You've been banned from the server reason test stuff like yeah. Yes. Okay. So now where we've got our command method. We're going to want to go underneath it and go public void on player logon. Player logon event E. Hopefully that's correct. Yes it is. Oh log in player login event yep on player login player p equals you don't get player and then if get config or get string band dot plus p dot get he dot get unique ID plus dot well if that is equals null then e dot allow otherwise e dot disallow result kick band chat color dot translate return the color codes kick message and we're just gonna grab the kick thing from here bring it down to here the reason is string reason equals get config dot get string band dot p dot get unique id dot reason string sure equals that Also dot issuer there. Okay, so now register the event. Get plug manager dot register events. New uh, well this 
this boosh. Make it implement the listener, there we go. Three, two, one. Yes, you're you have been banned from the server. Reason to have to issue a stop light. And it's done. And also just to show you guys if we reload, it's not gonna let me back in, I don't think. Hopefully not. Yep, it's not gonna let me back in. Go into the server, test in, there we go. Open it up. Now if we remove the whole thing and then reload it. There we go, it's not there. Connect or attempt to. And there we go. It allows me in and obviously I don't want that. So that's even force plugging down, we might as well add an, an unban thing. Else if cmd.get name dot equals in all case unban if args dot length equals equals zero or if it's more than one then send them the usage message there we go obviously get the target and the UID no district don't get the target get the UID and the name do the old try catch because we need to e dot print stack trace try ID equals UID fetcher get your ID of args zero then name equals name fetcher dot get name from your ID ID okie dokie then okay we've been going for 40 minutes mainly because I've been getting distracted halfway through but still um, I'm really tired, but yay. Um, by the way, go check out my Twitter and my Instagram. Links in the description below. Um, Instagram is uh, private, so that's obvious. Request to follow me still. Uh, my website is in development, but it's somewhat okay to use. So, yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. We're going to add this to a plugin.yml. Description unbans the player from the server, and I've got an email as far as I know. And Instagram, of course. Okay. So if get config dot get string um band dot id does not equal null then change it to null dot set band dot plus id to null there we go send the sender a message be like yo you have un you have unbound name how do you feel else message 
So say if it isn't already then name is already unbound. True, there we go. Okay. Manage drop like test. And obviously, hopefully, yep, I'm banned still. Try again. Reload. Try it again. Still doesn't work. Then use unban as strophilite. Yeah, have unban as strophilite. And I'm allowed in again, which is just brilliant. Okay. Well, that's the enforcer plugin done. I was expecting that to take longer. Granted, it is like 45 minutes long. Well, that's the live streams, and I've been doing other things as well. So. Oh, by the way, just FYI, heal, feed, boom. Everything on this server, if you want to go check out, it is part of my um, bucket coding tutorial series. Uh, this live stream will actually be part of it, surprisingly not. But, there you go. Um, I think I'm going to do the same stream. No, okay. So this one, this stream's going to end, but anyone who is watching, which, no, they're not, that's fine. No one's watching, but I'm I'm now going to head over to Twitch. I don't know how long I'm going to be streaming there, but I'm going to be playing Mindplex and other servers like that. So, brilliant. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to get notified either when I stream or when I upload a new video. Uh, if you want me, If you want me to stream more... Uh, comment down below and I will hopefully read it and think to stream more otherwise head over to twitch I do stream occasionally there okay I've got one more viewer um, I do stream occasionally over on twitch so go over there I'm going to go over there now and I'm going to go on mindplex and play some mini games um, if you want to head over there for yourself guys um, I'll have the mindplex player server up and you can play it with me over there so let's go if you enjoyed this part of the stream, hit the like button and subscribe to get notified. Blah, blah blah. Until next time, as I glitch the stream out. Until next time, see ya.